Hello everyone, this is Minister LT and I'm back again for another beautiful day. Today's message is He is. And you will see what the Word of God is saying about He is. And I am so excited to preach this word to all his listeners today. This message is meant for everybody. This message is meant for so so many people today because you're probably thinking and wondering what he's saying about he is. And you will see what the word of God is saying. And before I get started, I would like to give God thanks and praise and glory and honor for allowing me to preach his word. I'd like to give him thanks and praise because who he is and how wonderful he is, how awesome he is, how marvelous he is, how loving he is, how caring he is, how devoted he is to his children. And if you can't give God thanks and praise and glory for the small things, who you getting glory to? If you're getting glory to somebody else that's not worthy like your heavenly father God, something wrong with your brother, something wrong with your sister. You should always, always give your heavenly father God thanks, praise, glory, and honor because he is king of kings, he is lord of lords, and he is everything. He is mighty, he is loving, he is merciful. He loves us so much. That's why you should give him praise. That's why you should give him thanks. No matter what you're going through or what's happening in your lifetime, regardless you're going through good things or you're going through bad things, you should always give it up to him. Because if he bless you with another day with life, with breath, strength, and for you to get around, for that right there by itself is a blessing. That right there by itself, you should give him thanks. That right there by itself, you need to give him praise. That right there by itself, you need to give him glory, honor, and all the word. Because there's never too much praise that you can give him. Never. And like I said, you know, and I'm, I'm excited to work for him. And I'm excited because he blessed me with this ability and gift to preach his word. And I'm going to preach it. And today, we'll be reading from the book of Numbers 23, verse 19 through 20. And I hope y'all guys and young ladies have y'all Bibles open, ready to hear the word of God. I know that y'all going to receive it. I know somebody going to jump up and shout hallelujah today. I know somebody going to say, boy, it to you preaching to me. But the thing about it, it's really God preaching to you. He just gave it to me for me to preach to you. That's all he did. Because at the end of the day, he get the thanks for this. He get the praise. He get the glory, the honor, and all the worthy. I don't. I'm just doing his work as a servant. I'm just doing his work because I'm faithful to him. And I'm ready. And again, reading from Numbers. 23, verse 19 through 20. And today's message is his. Y'all ready? Amen. Let's get started. And I'm from verse 19. God is not a man that he should not lie, nor a son of man that he should not change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? I have received a command to bless. He has blessed and I cannot change it. Mm. So, what is God saying? God is saying to someone today, he's a man not to lie. If he promised you something, he's got to come through with it. He's got to fulfill that vow. That's what he's saying right now. If he placed a dream inside of you and that dream is still going on and that dream is still lingering, he said he got to fulfill it. He said he got to do his job because God is not a human. He's not a man not to lie to none of his kids right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Your, your, your brother might lie to you. Your sister might lie to you. Your mama or your daddy might lie to you. But your heavenly father God will not lie to you. Now, who are you talking to today? Who are you preaching to today? He said he got to fulfill whatever he started. He got to fulfill what he put in your path. He got to fulfill what the, the gift that he's putting you. If you saw it in your dream or if he talked to you, he got to feel on it and he got to act on it. Who he talking to today? Who he preaching to today? He said he, he said he ready to bless the bless. You get that? He's ready to bless the bless. So whoever it is, he ready to bless you in abundance. He ready to bless you in deliverance. That's what he said. He said he's not going to speak on something, then change his mind. We, as humans, we change our mind on the little simple things. We'll start out saying, okay, we're going to do this. Then two or three months later down the road, we change our mind. But to him, Father God, say, what he said he's going to do for you, he's going to do it. 
whatever he told you, he said he's going to do for you, he will do it. That's what the word of God said. Open the book to Numbers 23, 19 through 20. You will see what he say. The word of God don't even lie. So if the word of God don't lie, and he a man not to lie, and he ain't hear me, so I mean he ain't lying to nobody today. Who are you preaching to today? Is it my young listeners or is it my older listeners? He talking to somebody today. I don't know who it is. So some of y'all have been going through something. Some of y'all have been dreaming about something. And that dream is what God has put in your path. That dream that he put in your path, he's saying he got to fulfill it. He's saying whatever he put inside of you, he got to come through. He's a man not to change his mind. If he told you he's going to be a doctor, guess what? You're going to be a doctor. If he told you you're going to be a lawyer, guess what? You're going to be a lawyer. If he told you you're going to be the, the baddest and the biggest youth pastor in the whole United States, that's what you're going to be. If he said you're going to be a mother, that's what you're going to be. If he said you're going to be a father, that's who you're going to be. If he said you're going to be a judge, that's who you're going to be because the Heavenly Father God said he has a man not to lie. He's a man that will never change his mind. That's what he said. Now, who are you preaching to today? And I know this can't be only me. I know it's got to be somebody out of there too as well. Come on now. Got to give him thanks for it, y'all. Got to give him praise. Because we all don't went through something that somebody don't lie to us about. Don't promise us something. It could have been at a job. It could have been somebody in your family. It could have been one of your best friends or, or family member. But guess what? Jesus don't lie. If he said he's going to do something, he got to do it. Now, come on now. Somebody need to give him thanks for it. Somebody need to give him praise now. You need to give it up now. Because he said he's a man who would never change his mind. Why? Because he loves us. Why? Because he's a man not to lie. Why? Because he's not human. That's why. That's why. He would never do us any way, any kind of way. And the, the, main, the number one reason why he won't do that, because he loves us so much. That's all That's all explanation that you need from right there. That right there, you should be shouting right there all in your house right now. You should be shouting in your, in your bathtub right now. You should be shouting in your, in, your, in your room right now. You should be shouting out saying hallelujah, hallelujah right now. That's why he won't change his mind. That's why he got to act on it. That's why he said he's a man not to lie because he loves us so much. Now, that's why. Who I'm preaching to now. I know I'm getting to somebody today. I don't know who it is. I don't know if it's my younger listeners. I don't know if it's my older listeners. But the Heavenly Father God is telling somebody now, he's going to fulfill it. He's going to bring everything to pass. All you got to do is keep on believing it. He said he's going to do the rest. That's what he said. Read Numbers. Numbers 23, 19 through 20 again, y'all. It's right there. Written in black. Bold letters. He's telling you. He will never change his mind. He's going to do what he says he's going to do. I don't know how long it's going to take. Some, it might take longer than others. But at the end of the day, his word is trustworthy. At the end of the day, he's going to do what he said he's going to do. At the end of the day, he's going to bring everything to pass plus more because he said he got to fill it. It's like filling in a blank. If you see something, if you're at school and you're studying for a test and say fill in the blank, you might not know the answer, but guess what? God know the answer. You know why he know the answer? Because he got to finish it. You might not know it, but he do. That's why you got to trust him. That's why you got to love him. That's why you got to praise him. That's why you got to give him glory. Because he has put something in every last one of us. But it's up to you to find out what it is. Once you find out what it is, he got to fulfill it. If he, if he told somebody to tell you something and, and you start seeing it, and you start seeing that it's working, guess what? He got to fulfill it. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. He won't change his mind, y'all. He's not going to lie, y'all. Why? Because he loves so much. That's why. That's why he is who he is. He's a man not to lie. That's why this title was meant for somebody he is. Because that's what he is. He is awesome. He is great. He is awesome, God. He's a loving God. He's a everything, God. That's why I love him so much. And before I close the night, I'm going to leave out with some points. Hope y'all got your paper ready and your pens ready to write them down. Point one, trust him. Why trust him? Because he ain't not the man not to lie. Point two, believe it. Why you got to believe in it? Because you have to because he loves you so much. You got to know it's yours. You got to know that he's going to do it. Then the third thing, 
Guess what, y'all? It's yours. That's what he's telling you. It's yours. Why is yours? Because he's going to fulfill it. You know why it's yours? Because he ain't going to change his mind. That's why it's yours. That's why right now you should be giving him thanks right now. That's why right now you should be giving him praise. That's why you should be glorifying this whole name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, right now. That's what you should be doing. That's what you should be doing. So them are points today. I hope y'all received the word of God today. I hope y'all saying thank you, Jesus, for coming through today once again. And I just want to say thank y'all for tuning in, listen to the word of God today. Thank y'all for allowing me to preach to y'all today. And I want to say I love y'all, every last one of y'all, for listening to the word of God. And that's the end of the message. He is. And I hope there was something about it after today. Receive the word. And you say, you know what? Thank you, Jesus. I know you're going to fulfill it. Thank you, Jesus. I know you're going to come through. That's all you got to do to sit back and wait. He going to do his part. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, my YouTube channel is Withers. That's capital W I T H E R S dot L T. And one more thing before I go. Can y'all please pray with me? And he goes, Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life so you can take over, so you can guide me, direct me, use me, so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, if you pray that simple prayer, that God is already working on your behalf right now. I love y'all. Stay blessed.